I want to disclaim that I am not a medical doctor. I am a medical technician. I am not qualified to be diagnosing anyone. This video is based simply on the information that I researched down below. This is my opinion. Do not take only my video as your sole source of information. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the house. If you are one of the OG subscribers, welcome back. If you're just passing by, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you here. Don't forget to ring the bell button. Follow me on Instagram as well. So today I just saw this video from the viewer's voice where the title is, I might not be around for a while. He came out on that video talking about his family situation. And he also disclaimed on his video that his father called him from the hospital really confused as to why he was there. Later on the video, the viewer's voice disclaimed that he has a family history of Alzheimer's. He's worried that his dad is starting to succumb to the disease. He posted a very emotional video. I, as soon as I saw it, I decided to talk about it because I can relate to a person like him as I lost a parent at age 16. It hit home for me. In his video, he mentions that his grandmother also passed away from the same condition and he's really worried right now. Sadly, because of the climate of the country at this moment, he's unable to see his father. I will have down below in the description all the videos from from all of the sources that I researched. And I will also have some information and help sites for you guys down in the description. For you guys that don't know what Alzheimer's is. Alzheimer's disease is a slow and fatal disease of the brain. And it's said to affect one in 10 people over the age of 65. It's one of the most common forms of dementia. Dr. Alowitz Alzheimer, a German psychiatrist, first described the symptoms or found out about the symptoms in 1901. He noticed some peculiar problems on this patient some of the peculiar uh, symptoms that Dr. Alzheimer described on this patient was sleeping issues, memory problems, drastic mood changes, and general confusion. After the patient passed away, he was able to perform an autopsy. He found plaques as well as accumulation of tangles that form around the brain cells. These plaques and tangles block the function of these brain cells. They end up ultimately killing brain cells. Alzheimer's start at the hippocampus where most recent memories are formed. Over time, the tangles and the plaques start destroying the hippocampus. It becomes harder and harder to form memories. Like simple thing, what do you ate this morning? Who did you speak with? Eventually, plaques and tangles start spreading around compromising function and brain cells. We'll define the stages of Alzheimer's. From the hippocampus, the spread will attack where language is processed. After that, the frontal lobe. And that's where logical thought takes place. Intellectual ability of solving problems, grasping concepts, making plans, all of that is affected. The part of the brain where emotions are regulated is affected. Mood swings become more apparent. It moves up into the area where we make sense of things and what it is that we're looking at. There's a very high chance that the patient will develop hallucinations. At this point, Alzheimer's has already reached the back of the brain. Over there is where we store the most permanent memories. We start forgetting family members. You will progress to affect motor capabilities, balance, and ability to walk. And as a very last stage, affect the part of the brain where it regulates breathing and all of organ functions. This process can take an average of eight to 10 years, but every person is different, so you never know. Sadly for now, this condition is incurable. After he explains what's going on with his family member, he brings the issue of sometimes we do not make time, we take family members for granted, or we have a fight with somebody who is in our lives and we just decide not to speak to them anymore. It's petty, it's silly, and he's going to put it all behind him. I applaud him for that. He's been a very big person here to put aside any differences he has with his family members because a very important person in his life is in need of love. He is being a very good son. Towards the end of the video, he actually pleads to all of us, reach out to your family members who you haven't spoken to for whatever reason, tell them that you love them, to remember to love each other, to forget petty fights, to forget little things that have happened in the past. It's beautiful what he's doing. 
making videos for YouTube is a time commitment. He won't be having time to do that. And I wish him the best. This message that he sent was beautiful and I will pray for him and his family. I hope this video was helpful to you guys to understand at least a little bit about what he's going through. I want to know what you guys think about this. I want to know if you guys have a family member that is going through something right now. I will have his video linked down below. Out of respect for him, I did not play any of his footage because I think that if you need to see it, see it for yourself there. This is it for me on this situation. Uh, let me know down below what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you consider subscribing. It mean the world to me. Press the bell button so you can get notified every time I post. I post every Sunday and Wednesday. Also, like this video and I want to give you guys an update on a video that I've been working on. I am working on another kind of like a, a tatty commentary video. It will be pretty cold tea by the time I bring it out because I've been working on it for three or four days but then new tea comes out and then I stop doing it and then I start doing something else but I will still release it because I've been editing it and it will be cold tea but it is what it is so I hope you guys watch it when it comes out thank you so much for watching guys this is it for me you guys have a great rest of your day let me know how is your quarantine going so far I hope to see you guys in the next upload I love you guys bye